I'd like to now show you how to integrate these into your own level um, so you can adjust them and tweak them to fit your own project. So what I'm going to do is just paste my post-process volumes from my demo level right in here and modify them real quick. Uh, I'm going to make them the highest priority. Uh, I'm also going to disable them all and set unbound. Unbound means that I don't actually have to be in the volume that's over here when I enable it for it to take effect. Switch over to game mode uh, and just quickly toggle through these. Blueprint, styles, until I find a, an obvious issue here. The uh, this half tone is way too dark. So uh, I can take a look at my half tone instance here. And you can see in here I can directly adjust the screen brightness. Uh, and also because this scene is much more detailed than the stylized example, these uh, uh, pixelization dots are just way too big. So I'm just going to dial that in and get a nice look. So this will probably be similar in the black and white, where again it's just too dark. And to find it, I'm looking in here under the miscellaneous and the halftone. I'm just clicking there, pulling up the properties. And I'll bring up the brightness. Uh, and in this scene, I'll actually reduce the contrast quite a bit. It's a very contrasty scene. So there you go. So now we have a, a really nice look. Uh, again, I might want to adjust the the scale. Hmm. I don't like the Mori pattern that that produces. So I'll just adjust it until I find one that I can deal with. Not too bad. And disable that. Take a look at our halftone comic, uh, which actually doesn't look too too bad. The Mori pattern is pretty bad in it. Uh, so you'll see in this one, I'm actually using two blendables. I'm using the halftone fine and the ink and paper. Uh, the halftone is obviously making the, the half toning and the ink and paper is drawing the, the lines around everything. So because I've got the lines, I can really uh, really blow out the, the color in here. There we go. Get rid of that Mori pattern. That looks great. So I could also adjust the lines in here as well if I wanted to get a more sketchy look, let's say. So I'm going to look up my my lines, and I've got kind of two adjustments. I can control the depth bias and the angle bias. Uh, so if I bring that down, I'm getting much more sketchy look. And then I can also multiply that bias uh, to get rid of some of the interior details. Uh, you can see the line width is set to 2. You can make that look a little, quite a bit different. Uh, same for the depth bias. I can uh, really boost the inner, inner object edges. Uh, you can see I'm actually even picking up the lines from the, the normal maps and objects. the way it looks on stuff like this. Geometric things get picked up really nicely. Let's take a quick look at the other effects in here and see if there's anything else we need to adjust. Oh, this hatching is far too dark. Again, I've got my instance here. 
and I can just control the input at scene brightness. And maybe drop the contrast a little too. So I still want it to be uh, fairly dark in here. I'll uh, bring that back down a bit. So I want it. I want to be able to see that, like in this hallway here, it's it's darker. Than it is out here, and then out here should be much, much brighter. Take a look at these. This should have a very similar effect because it's actually using the same instance as the other ones, so uh, it just doesn't have the temporal anti aliasing on, so it gives a, a crisper edge, obviously aliased. Um, but with this effect it works really well because of all the 45 degree angles. Here's that effect again except uh, using uh, posterization as well to bring in some of the mid-tones. Looks really cool. Uh, and in this effect I'm actually using three. I've got the poster eyes, which I can bring up here, which has a few settings, um, so I can adjust the, the bias there. I can bring in the crosshatch, uh, and in the crosshatch I can actually drop that out uh, uh, to affect everything. I can change the hatching size, make it very large, get kind of a weird effect with that, but uh, I can bring that down and actually get a, a dithering sort of look. Uh, so you can really control how that looks. Uh, and then of course there's the black line shader as well once again. So you can take these effects and stack them together to get uh, quite a few interesting effects. And here's the sci-fi shader which looks really fun in here. You can see how it's actually picking up the normal maps and not just the geometry edges. Uh, but in this case, I'm finding it uh, too detailed. So I think I want to go in and modify it a bit. Uh, so I am going to change our angle bias to a little higher. And that helps a bit. And that helps too much. I still want to bring that back in. So here we go. Here's a nice, nice mid-ground. And actually, you know, you can use the slider to really get a an idea of how this changes things. So I can bring in like quite a bit of uh, detail from the normal maps. Uh, the other thing I can do because I'm finding it to be way too, way too dark back there. So I can bring back the line distance, which is where it starts to fade. So if I just wanted this effect on stuff nearby, I could do that. But now I can't see where I'm going. So I'm going to go and drop the paper opacity. So now, this effect is only happening in the foreground. And as I move through the level, you can see it's sweeping in. And yeah, I can also change the line opacity too, so it's it's very subtle. Uh, and I can change this to any color I want, even totally black, or do a white outline. Excuse me, there we go. And bring that line distance out. And drop that paper opacity. So you can really dial in whatever effect you'd like uh, really quickly. And of course, you know, combine this with the other effects, etc. Um, let's see, I'm just going to give this a try. I don't even know if it'll work. Let's do. Pixelization. So now we get the pixelization, but with crisp lines 
<clears throat> lines around things, which is kind of interesting. So, yeah, have fun with it, and uh, I hope to see you back here for the uh, walkthrough of the of my next pack of uh, post-process effects. <laughs>